It's a nice crane, nice whooping crane coming off Carl's head there. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning good. And today we're heading back to a voice effect, guys. In particular, we're going to Flash Season 5 and we're taking on the Cicada voice effect. Now, in order to complete this effect, you need to do your best Cicada impression. And yours truly did one, and it sounds like this. All these years that Central City spent defending metas instead of ending them? Those days and now. Now today guys, I've got a special treat for you. We're actually gonna be doing two different versions of this effect. My God. One using just the native plugins in Adobe Audition, and the other one's gonna be using Flux Audio's Ikram Tracks V3 because I've got a newish computer and I still haven't installed the demo yet. So we've got the demo again. Now the final effect just using Adobe Audition plugins sounds like this. All these years that Central City spent defending metas instead of ending them, those days and now. And the final effect using Flux Audio Ikram Tracks V3 sounds like this. All these years that Central City spent defending metas instead of ending them. Those days and now. And of course, our good friend the Blast has come through yet again, guys. If you check down in the description, there is a link to a cicada breathing effect that you can download and use in your effect. So, thanks very much, Dan. And guys, if you do actually want to grab a demo of Flux Audio Ikram Tracks V3, yes, I know that's a mouthful, you can also check in the description down below. It does take a few steps to get it installed, but if you do, you've got 30 days to use it, and it's awesome. So how about we jump into Audition and get to work, shall we? Yeah. Welcome to yet another Adobe Audition tutorial led by a burp. So guys, here we are of course in Adobe Audition and I already have my sample audio ready. So our first step is to right click on our clip and select insert into multi-track session. From there, I wanna add two more samples of our voice recording. We'll just mute them for now as well. Done. Now let's focus on our top track. Let's head over to the effects rack and firstly, we're gonna lower the pitch. So we'll head to time and pitch and grab pitch shifter. Now my voice is already low, so I'm only gonna drop it say minus two semitones, but by all means, play around and find the right balance for your recording. Let's then close that out. Next, we'll head down to special and grab vocal enhancer just to boost this top track a bit. So if we have a listen to that, all these years that Central City spent defending metas instead of ending them. Those days and now. You can already hear we've got something that sounds pretty cool, but let's keep going. Let's start by unmuting our second track and adding some effects to it. Now the second track is pretty easy guys. We're going to head to time and pitch and grab pitch shifter once more. Only this time, we're going to double the negative semitones. So I had minus two on my top track, so naturally I'm gonna set this to minus four. This will give us a lower contrast between the two tracks, almost like a very short chorus effect. So let's have a listen to that. All these years that Central City spent defending metas instead of ending them, those days and now. Not bad. It's getting there. Now onto the third track. Now this one is what I like to call the distortion track. This is the base of our disguising effect that just gives our voice a bit of modulation. So let's firstly head to the effects rack and grab pitch bender once more, this time only dropping it back down those minus two points, just like our top track. From there, we'll close that out and head back to the rack and go down to guitar suite from the special menu. Inside guitar suite, we wanna uncheck bypass on filter Set it to res, and from the drop down menu, let's use high pass and set this to around 60%. Next, let's head to distortion and uncheck bypass. We'll then set that to garage fuzz and crank that to around 30%. Finally, we'll set amplifier to deep 4x12 and give that a percentage of around 80%. If we solo that and have a listen, all these years that Central City spent defending metas instead of ending them, those days and now. It kind of gives us a portable speaker type of effect, like it's being projected from a small space like a mask. Combine them all together, 
And we'll just also add a cicada breath that Dan from the Blast gifted to me, and this is the end result. All these years that Central City spent defending metas instead of ending them? Those days end now. Not bad. I'm actually happy with that, so let's mix that down by selecting all of our tracks, right-clicking, head down to export, and we're going to export the selected clips to a mix down. So gang, that was the Cicada's voice using only native plugins in Adobe Audition. But I do also have Ikram Tracks V3 from Flux Audio on here. I've used this a bunch of times and it's fantastic. So what I'm also going to do is build a Cicada voice using this. So let's start by once again adding our Cicada example to a multi-track session. Done. We'll then bring two more examples into the multi-track. Also done. So starting on track one, let's head to the effects rack, down to VST and add tracks V3. So firstly, let's set the male to female to minus 25. This will lower the pitch. And then we're gonna set the transpose up here to minus five and have a listen to this. All these years that Central City spent defending metas instead of ending them. Those days and now. Wow, right? That was only changing two settings slightly. Let's close that out. I'm also gonna add a vocal enhancer to this track just to keep it at the front of our other tracks. Done. Second track. With this track, I'll also be adding tracks V3. Only this time, we're only going to lower the male female to say minus 11% or so. I'm then going to turn up the breathy here to around 50%. This just gives this track a slightly lower pitch and also softens the track. This track is more about giving a doubling effect more than anything else. I'm also gonna boost this one three decibels as well right here. Done. Right. Onto the third track. Firstly, I'm just gonna boost this one five decibels because it's going to need it. Let's then add one more iteration of tracks V3 and get to work. I'm gonna increase the breathy all the way to 100% and this will give us a really whispery voice. And finally, I'm going to lower the formant here to minus 4.5 or so. Let's solo that and have a listen. that Central City spent defending metas instead of ending them. Those days and now. So you can hear that it's a real whisper. That's the reason we boosted it. Let's also throw in one of the Blast Cicada breaths, make sure everything's unsolid, and let's have a listen to our final mix. All these years that Central City spent defending metas instead of ending them. Those days and now. Nice. Now, personally, guys, I like this one much better than our first attempt, but the difference is essentially an awesome but expensive modulation plugin versus all the native stuff that comes with Audition. Either way, they both sound pretty cool, and that, my friends, is another voice effect. Done. Out of all those steps, new voice goes from this. All these years that Central City spent defending metas instead of ending them. Those days and now. After this. All these years that Central City spent defending metas instead of ending them. Those days and now. And using Tracks V3, it goes to this. All these years that Central City spent defending metas instead of ending them. Those days and now. So guys, that's my take on a Cicada voice effect from The Flash Season 5. As you can see, it's actually pretty easy. And if you use Flux Audio, it sounds even better. So guys, that's going to do it for me for this week. Dexter actually woke up. Say hi. Hi. You look right there. There, there. Now say hi. Hi. Yeah, that's a good boy. And a red green. Yeah, I know there's re red and green buttons. But can you just, you watch here? Okay. So you have a fun. Alright. Why did I bring him in here?
But for now guys, that is my time. If you did enjoy the episode, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it. And hey, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single film in an episode. If you want to sponsor the channel, you can hit the join button below or you can check us out on Patreon. I've got two other episodes of Film Learning right over here. I've also got my social media crap above my head with the Facebook and the Twitter and the Instagram. You can check all those out. And until I see you again, keep learning.